I think it's red and gold. I'm such a savage. How are they? They're so good. Mm. Tell me every detail about them. Mmm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Do I about it? Josh and I's preps are a little bit different. Each person's prep is gonna be different based on their body type, where their body fat percentage is. Um, my body fat percentage is already pretty low, so I'm really just trying to maintain. And Josh's is also low, but he wants to drop it just a tiny bit more to the show and really make sure that... Um, I look crisp. He looks crisp. 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 <laughs> You're gonna look like crispy bacon after your chance too. Mm, bacon. Everyone's peak week is different. Mine, thankfully, I really don't cut out too many carbs out of my diet. I um, I usually eat pretty high-ish carbs, and so I will kind of drop it down to moderate. And then during peak week, I think it's like two or three days where I do pretty low carb-ish, low carb to moderate carb. I never go like no carbs, but Josh is doing that right now. How's it feel? I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hangry? I just need some carbs. That must suck. That must suck. Meanwhile, I'm over here. Ha! Woo! Oops. It's okay, I'm the only one eating these anyway. We're on our way to the gym. So we're seven days out right now, and we're excited. We leave for Alaska super soon. Uh, what's today? Saturday? Saturday, Thursday. We leave in four and a half days. So, but even after these vlogs end and we did the show, I am going to still make a couple more videos. Hopefully actually before that, I wanna do like a competitor's checklist. I think I did that in a vlog a while ago, but I really wanna dedicate a whole video on how to find your first show, what show to pick, the steps you should take on doing your competition and you know, like all that stuff. You know, so many people have big questions like how do I find a show? What should I bring on show day? Do's and don'ts. And so I wanna make a whole video on that. And yep, now I'm just rambling on because I'm bored and hungry and we're on our way to the gym. Check. Thankfully I don't have to do a lot of cardio because I always do like circuit training. That's my favorite because I get bored on the Stairmaster and everything. So if I'm gonna do cardio, I usually do circuit training. I just live faster. <laughs> but other people, especially for competition, need to do some cardio. How bad does your life suck right now? 45 minutes. A fun little thing that Josh does is he'll put a towel over his uh, the cover so he can't see how long it's been. Time goes by faster when you're not staring at the time and then he puts his phone on the front so you can just watch TV, watch my YouTube videos. Are you watching my YouTube videos? I'm watching Jeremy. I'm not watching my YouTube videos. Five, six, seven. Oh, so 30 minutes left. So I'm walking to the tanning center because another little tip when you do competitions is a lot of competitors will go tanning before their show date usually like a week or two before they'll go tanning anywhere from like you know three four times the reason for that is tanning tightens your skin build a base color for that awesome orange tan you're gonna get it's not good for you it's not I really don't go bed tanning um, not only is it bad for your skin I get bored in there <laughs> oh my gosh I man there's so many other things I could be doing besides sitting in a bed for like five six minutes because I a baby and I'm a white girl. I, my cardio today is just walking to the tanning center while Josh does his cardio. It's just across the street, so it's, a, it's nothing crazy. It's not far. <laughs> I was doing sprints uh, like once to twice a week, which is great. I feel like that's why my abs are like popping right now. Oh God, is that a cupcake store? No, it's not. It's a mirage. I'm seeing things, guys. I'm seeing things. But yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on my cardio. So. Yeah, before every single workout, I always do like five minutes. I always jump on the treadmill. Even if I'm working shoulders or if I'm doing abs or whatever I'm doing, I always, always, always jump on the treadmill, Stairmaster, elliptical, something for five minutes to get the blood flowing throughout your body. Then I do a warm up for that muscle part. 
then I do my workout. But yeah, I'm gonna go tanning now. So bored in there. What's up, YouTube? So we did a little bit of grocery shopping for Peak Week. Stop it. Oh yeah. And I wanted to show you guys what we got. Um, here we go. I got two things of chicken. I we got how many pounds? Three and a half pounds of Alaskan cod. I do prefer Alaskan cod over tilapia. Most tilapia is gonna be farm-raised. Um, Alaskan cod is not only from my home state, but it's a good white fish, and I prefer this. And actually, Jeremy Buendia eats uh, Alaskan cod, too. He told me that, which is really cool. Shrimp, I do love, love, love my shrimp. Um, so I will be eating a lot of this. I think I got two pounds of shrimp. Got some eggs. I will mostly be eating egg whites, but you guys know me, I always put at least one egg yolk in my eggs. Got some zucchini because there's this awesome recipe that Josh makes and I want to show you guys how to do it. It makes the zucchini taste so good. Frozen blueberries for some oat muffins that I will be using. I'm going to show you guys a recipe for that. They're really, really good. Let's see, we got some mushroom, onion, diced up stuff. I don't know why Josh got that. Uh, I hate mushrooms. <laughs> but he'll eat that. Okay, I know. Tobani yogurt, oh, it's so good. I can't help but get it. I really limit my dairy intake uh, during peak week. I don't even have protein shakes. So Chobani yogurts, I'm really gonna have that like before workouts, some of my workouts because my workouts are really hard. So very limited on these. Um, organic oat flour, that will be going into the blueberry oat stuff. And then I like to cook with this and bake stuff. And I really wanna put more baking things in my vlogs. So you guys have more recipes. And this is also for baking stuff, just HB baking powder. And then got my coconut oil, yay! I think that is it. Josh got a few new seasonings that we're gonna cook with. Let's see, we got chipotle chili pepper. Um, and all of this has no sodium. I always get no sodium seasonings. And then we will actually add in our pink salt because it's delicious and way better for you. We got, how do you say this, tarragon? Tarragon, tarragon leaves, and basil leaves. And I got these all natural sprinkles. Um, naturally colored anyway. Probably still has fake sugars. Eee, it doesn't look too bad actually. See, I'm gonna be putting these in another recipe that I'm gonna show you guys. I'm really excited about it. So that is our little grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away and then start baking. All right guys, I'm taking over now. So what I'm gonna make for this post-workout is a peak week friendly, low carb chicken stir fry. Use some seasoned pepper, some tarragon, garlic powder, pink salt. All right, I got the chicken all seasoned up. The oil's in the pan. We're gonna put some coconut oil, about a teaspoon. Tablespoon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a stir fry with this mushroom and onion mix, just because I'm just craving it. Some tri-color bell peppers. And some broccoli. You have to vlog every single second, Josh. You're missing crucial moments. I'm hyperglycemic right now, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, this is your breakfast in low carb. For those steel cut oats I ate this morning were so good. On this. Adding basil leaves. To the vegetables. To the vegetables. Beautiful kitchen, beautiful food, beautiful man, beautiful muscles. <gasps> Doesn't even look real. Do mine look like that? They look better. Oh, good answer. So you want to make sure your chicken's cooked all the way through, no pink. I personally like to have it a little bit crispy on the outside, tender on the inside, so I just turn it on high for about the last two, three minutes just to give it that extra crisp on the end. What are you adding now? I'm just gonna throw this a little bit of this black and red pepper blend mm. just to give the veggies a little kick. And then just a little bit of pink salt. The best way to eat vegetables is fresh. But we go out of town a lot and we have so much going on that, I'm sorry, we do eat a lot of frozen vegetables, especially lately. Um, so yeah, sue us, be mad at us, whatever, but. I would rather eat frozen vegetables sometimes than have to throw away good vegetables that went bad because we're out of town. Look at all those colors. 
so pretty. I love it. Oh, pretty. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, I got my bowl. I'm gonna get a good helping on vegetables, trying to get a little bit of everything. I personally like the mushroom and onions the best. <laughs> and then I'm gonna kiss you after with that onion breath. Oh no, you're not. I'm gonna Sorry. get some chicken. And I'm gonna get double meat, like at Chipotle. Got my gallon water, my sriracha. I'm gonna go watch some college football. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> All right guys, I'm eating the same thing and drinking the same thing but not watching the same thing, because I got work to do. Uh-huh, go work on it. I'm a bigger fan of hockey and basketball. Ta-da, here's my plate. I got like, kind of double chicken. I'll probably go back for seconds. <laughs> um, <clears throat> one thing I wanted to touch up on is people that think that competitors starve themselves. You're right, some competitors do that. But Josh and I, we do not do that. We are always hungry because we train a lot. But if we're hungry, we always eat. We just make sure that we eat the right things. Um, you know, some people will diet down to where they're eating like 700 calories in a day, which I think is insane. But we do not do that. Yeah, we'll do low carb, but that just means we kind of up our protein intake and we're not gonna starve ourselves. I don't think that we could ever survive <laughs> eating super low calorie and low 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 carb every day there's I mean there's no way you're constantly thinking about food and I feel like when it comes to competitions you know if we're not gonna place because we're not starving ourselves down then so be it but we always make sure that we eat enough food we do talk about like oh we're hungry we're starving but that's just because we're hungry all the time because we've trained so hard um, and we'll eat like 20 minutes later when we get home and make our meals. That's no way to live and it's not healthy. If you feel like you are starving, then you need to eat something. You can't just not eat because your body is gonna start using your muscle as energy and you're gonna be losing a lot of muscle. It's not healthy, so I'm gonna eat and not starve.